for me. Oh, why a bit isn't the traveler and her companion. So what brings you here? Do you need help with anything? We want to visit the mysterious island. Hmm, the mysterious island, huh? Um, is there something wrong? I'm assuming you two are already aware that this island is related to a legend of my people. Yeah, but now that you mention it, we don't know anything about the actual legend yet. <laughs> then allow me to explain it to you two. It is said that the first chief of the people of the Springs was the most outstanding guide in all of Natlan. He discovered many deserted domains and found countless treasures. But to prove himself once more, he embarked on yet another journey in search of a legendary, mysterious island. He endured many hardships along the way, but he persevered and managed to reach the destination. The island emits a golden light where countless treasures are buried. But instead of claiming the treasures for himself, he left behind a trail of clues that lead to the island. Since then, many people from later generations have undertaken the challenge of finding the island, after all, to find the island is to find riches and glory. Oh, that makes sense! So could you tell us how to get to that island? Oh, mm. Oh, Paimon gets it! This is like a big secret for the people of the spring, so you can't just tell anyone, right? On the contrary, it's quite the opposite. The legend and the clues needed to find the island are all already known to the public. Oh! Well, then what's the problem? Well, I'm willing to answer your question in exchange for a favor. What do you think? Sure thing! But what do you need us to do? <laughs> then you have my thanks. Allow me to tell you some details. I'll be honest. There are some among the tribe who are of rather... base character. Not long ago, I received a report that a few of them were working together to scam visitors. As the chief of the tribe, I was very ashamed to hear of this. It's really hard to believe that could happen! They are targeting tourists who wish to visit that island. According to my sources, they would trick tourists into believing they are trustworthy guides, before luring the tourists into spending a fortune for the sake of reaching the island. They run a pretty sophisticated operation. They would always claim the scammed money is some kind of legal travel expenditure, so it's hard to use that to directly convict them. So, I was hoping to find someone who could approach them and pretend to get scammed. Doing so would allow us to gather the evidence required to bring them to justice. The problem is, they would certainly recognize anyone associated with me, which is why I haven't been able to carry out the plan yet. Oh, Paimon understands now! We're the perfect bait because we're both tourists. Exactly! And as far as I know, you two are no pushovers. No matter what nefarious schemes they may come up with, you'll be perfectly capable of protecting yourselves, right? You betcha! If it's just a few scammers we're talking about, she'll take them all down! <laughs> Wonderful! Then here, please take this. Uh, whoa, uh, that's a lot of mora. Did we already earn a bonus? There will be plenty of rewards if you manage to catch those scoundrels. This mora, however, is for other purposes. 
I'm sure some spending will be required on your part before they lower their guard. I certainly wouldn't expect you to pay out of your own pockets. So please use the Mora as needed, and collect as much evidence as possible. No wonder you're the chief. Seems like you've already thought of everything. Okay, we'll take it from here. <laughs> I've marked the location of the scammers on your map. I'll leave the rest to you two. We should pretend we are innocent tourists with no idea about what's going on. Uh, but how should we lure those scammers out? Good idea! Speaking of which, Paimon's dying to know what kind of treasures could be buried on the mysterious island. Wonder if anyone's ever really seen them before! Ah! Are you two visitors from afar looking to visit the mysterious island? We managed to lure them out already. <clears throat> oh, pardon. Is something the matter? I just happened to overhear you two talking about the mysterious island. I assume you two must be tourists, brought here by the legend and looking for the island. Am I right? Hello, Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler. That's right. We were just getting ready to look for that island from the legend. In that case, as a qualified guide, I certainly cannot allow you to embark on such a dangerous journey. Uh-huh. As the legend says, if you can manage to reach the mysterious island, riches and glory will be yours for the taking. Be that as it may, the journey to the island is full of untold perils and dangers. It would be nigh impossible for any average person to reach the island. But you are in luck. Allow me to tell you the purpose of our services. It just so happens that our mission as guides is to help visitors avoid danger, find shortcuts, and successfully reach their destination. Um... Please, there's no need to worry. This was just one point I had to make perfectly clear. Although the legend and the clues to finding the island are known to everyone, the leads left behind by our ancestors are as enigmatic as riddles found on a lost treasure map. Only guides bestowed with the legacy of our ancestors can correctly decipher the clues. Tourists who rashly embark on their own often wind up lost and encounter unnecessary dangers. Huh. He actually sounds pretty convincing. <laughs> But it seems like fate has brought us together. So, what say you to having me as your guide? Uh, so how much will you charge us? Not to worry. I don't intend to charge any fees. So you'd be working for free? For us people of the Springs, guiding guests to the mysterious island is a great honor in and of itself. Worth more than any amount of Mora. Smooth. Paimon almost wants to believe him. All right, thank you. Then please guide us onward. Of course. Please follow me.
Are you two here to take pictures with the Koholosaurs? Really? Can we? Ahem. Huh? Oh, you two must be here to seek insight from Atta, right? Um, Atta? Insight? Shh, not so loud. Openly saying their name in such a manner will only cause them to loathe you. Ah, I apologize for not explaining earlier. As you can see, Atta is the elder Koholosaur. My senior here is responsible to serve. Atta is highly respected among the tribe and is far more knowledgeable than other Koholosaurs. They say that Atta has actually visited the mysterious island before. Therefore, we must rely on Atta's insight to know how to get there. Really? But how do we do that? Can a Koholosaurus elder talk? You need only slowly approach Atta. Once Atta has confirmed your scent, they will provide their wise insight. In the language of the Koholosaurus, of course. But no need to worry. The ability to interpret this language is one of the basic skills required of a guide from the people of the Springs. I can understand Atta's instructions and will lead you on the journey ahead. <clears throat> That'll be 10,000 more up per person. Huh? Uh, in order for Atta to give us insight, they must recall their past, which can be extremely taxing for a Koholosaur. Cost to maintain their health can be quite high, you know. I'm sorry. Such expenses may arise in the process of finding our way, but as long as we reach the mysterious island, these costs will be quite trivial in the end. There you have it. Paimon knew there was no such thing as a free lunch. Oh, Paimon has an idea. She bets they've just made up all that stuff about the talking Koholosaur. But if we can get a receipt, that'll be proof that they're scaring tourists. With that kind of evidence, there'll be no doubt they're guilty. <sighs> What's taking them so long? Well, what do you say? I'll even throw in a group photo of you two with Atta. You won't ever find another deal like this. Oh, that's an unexpected bonus. Quick, let's pay the man. You can also pose now if you'd like a photo together. Okay! <laughs> oh, Atta is already speaking. Let me listen to what they have to say. Of course! Like I said, only a guide like me can understand their language. Let's follow Atta's instructions and proceed to the next area. Here's your group photo. I even packaged it up for free. Any chance we could get a receipt for that? No problem at all. Here you go. <laughs> Please, come with me. We still have a lot of the Chief's more to use. Why don't we keep up the act and gather some more evidence? <laughs> Paimon's curious what other tricks these scammers are using. These guys are going way too far. He keeps coming up with some far-fetched reasons to make us pay for everything. With all the evidence we have now, we could bring him straight to the chief and he'd definitely be convicted. But... After handing over all that mora, 
Paimon kind of wants to see if he'll actually take us to the island or not. Sorry to keep you waiting. After all the clues we've gathered, I've managed to find a shortcut to the island. Oh, all right, then let's get going. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> This is the spot. The trails of sunlight will guide the way. Once you cross the rushing water, the light of the setting sun shall reveal everything. Atta's insights have already pointed us to the destination. It's just on the opposite bank. You mean, we're almost there? Huh. But there wasn't even anything exciting about this journey. As I said before, this is a shortcut. If I took you on some arduous path after all the mora you spent, that would make me look like a good guide, don't you think? Anyway, there's no time to lose. We need to get there before sunset. According to Otta's insights, this is the place. We're here. Uh, you mean the mysterious island? Yes, I've led you to the island just as I promised, which means it's time for me to say goodbye. Hold on! Are you serious? This is supposed to be the island? Then what about the treasure? And look at these wooden signs and artificial lights! Even we can tell it's fake! All that stuff about treasure is just part of the legend. I didn't make any promises about what you'd find. And who says a mysterious island can't look like this? Huh. Since you seem to have dropped the act, then there's no need for us to continue either. We were commissioned by the chief of the people of the Springs to gather evidence of your scamming activities. With these receipts, your scamming days are over. <laughs> You sure? Then what's written on those receipts? Huh. Let's see. Huh? W wait, all the writing has disappeared. I took you all this way just to buy enough time for the handwriting to disappear. Even if you were to go back to the people you paid, you'd only find that they were using fake names, making them impossible to track down. You want to report me for scamming tourists? Then be my guest. I'll just say that I'm being falsely accused. With that settled, I'll be going now. Ah, now he's trying to get away! Let's go after him! It's the chief! What's the chief doing here? I have dispatched others to secretly trail you. Thanks to you, we can finally convict him of scamming people. Convict me? How? They don't have any evidence against me. Even as the chief, you can't just level accusations without any evidence, right? Sorry to say it, but he got us. We lost all the evidence we had. Not to worry. Let's search him first. Hey, what are you doing? Keep your hands off me! Th that's my Mora! Yes, I see the mark. Looks like you already split the Mora before you let them here. What do you mean? The Mora that the Traveler and Paimon were using today were all provided by me. They all have a special mark on them. You... So, there must be an explanation why the Mora that should have been theirs ended up in your hands, right? There are no receipts to prove that any transactions took place, 
and you yourself just denied that there was a scam. So did you then take the Mora from them by force? Take Mora from others by force? Oh, that's an even more serious crime than scamming! Uh, you... you... Ugh. All right. Sure, I admit that I coaxed them into spending a few times, but I wouldn't go as far as calling it scamming. We have witnesses standing right here, you know. Fine. Yes, it was all a scam. Woohoo! No wonder you're the chief of the tribe! <sighs> I still don't understand how so many people have been getting duped by them. You need only stop and think for a moment to see through the whole thing. If he claims to be able to find a shortcut to the mysterious island, then why hasn't he just gone there and claimed the treasure for himself? Why even bother guiding others there? That's a good point. Speaking of, have any guides from the people of the springs ever found the treasure of the mysterious island? I can answer this question along with your previous one about how to get there. The answer is actually very simple. There is no shortcut to the island, and most people don't even meet the requirement to ever reach it. If you don't meet this single condition, then even guides from the people of the springs, despite all of their abilities, will find it difficult to overcome the obstacles along the way. Which is exactly why, even though the clues to the mysterious island are open to the public, few have ever made it there. There's a requirement? What is it? Let me ask you something first. What do you think a real journey to the mysterious island should be like? Uh, it should probably involve overcoming a lot of hardships with your companions before witnessing some breathtaking sights, uh, uncovering a really touching story, oh, and scoring some super cool treasure at the end. And therein lies the key point, overcoming hardships with your companions. It's said that when the first chief set out to search for the island, the ones who accompanied him were not clients, nor tourists, but his closest friends. The legend also mentioned that only those willing to entrust their lives to one another will be able to reach the island together. Therefore, the requirement to reach the island is journeying with your closest friends, the kind of friends you would trust with your life. So that's the key. From what I can see, you and Paimon are exactly those kinds of friends. The kind that would trust each other with anything. But, unfortunately, neither of you are experienced guides. And if you were to hire someone else, then I'm afraid you could probably never place your lives in the hands of someone you met on a pure monetary basis. That's true. But don't feel discouraged. I believe that this beautiful land that I call my home will not disappoint you. Whether it's remote islands or ancient ruins, I'm sure they can also provide you with plenty of exciting adventures. And let me tell you a secret. The elders once told me that beneath these very ruins lies a way to reach the sky! Yeah, thanks for that. But knowing us, we don't give up so easily even when a place is supposedly impossible to visit. Oh, I can understand. I won't stop you if you're still interested in finding the island. I just recommend finding a guide first who you could trust with your lives. A guide we could trust with our lives? Oh, who knows when we'll meet someone like that around here? Yeah, Paimon has a good feeling about this. Then let's go check out some of the other places first. It appears you've already made up your minds. Then I'll be taking my leave. My assistants will pay you for all your help. Thanks again. Okay, bye-bye!